your hands separate around from your body. Some of you try to bring your body and your arms together. And I think you should just sit still and let your arms move away from your body and not try to bring them both together. And if you just keep extending your arms, well, then when your body's attached to it, so you just got to, it's the extending of the arms through past the knees that support to get the angle coming on your body. So you sit there, relax, and then you've got to stretch it out past the knees. That's right. Now, somebody's doing that because you're just inching, or well, more than inching away from us, you're sort of footing away from us here at the moment. You can generate as many watts as everybody else, but now we have to seek be even better efficiency when we spend those watts. And that was, if you like, where Harry's magic came into that, was helping us achieve squeeze more out of out of what was there everything i'd heard about him proved to be true which is that he was a wizard coach with a uh, a particular knack for getting the best out of individuals and well gosh you know there's there's a whole there's a whole story to be told there as we know with harry because he's full of enigmas and curiosities and puzzles really good observer of human nature and I'd say that's probably his greatest skill harnessed to a, clearly a, a very deep knowledge of how to make a boat go fast. He was able to grade and mark every stroke <laughs> and give you feedback every single stroke on whether it was a good stroke, whether it wasn't a good stroke. He knew what he was looking for and he knew what good felt like when the athlete felt it. And I didn't feel like he had a perfect stroke that he was working towards that you could draw it, it was what was right for each person and it was about moving with the boat. His perfect rowing stroke was um, uh, just a huge amount of freedom and um, it, it was fluid, free moving, just never ending um, and you could watch it and you could do it forever and a day and it looked effortless um, and that's what people who experienced it kind of that was the reward that was a reward from the the process that they'd gone through and a process which was at times really really tough but the reward was incredible the boat race is a good example but for every different crew and every individual within those crews often the one or two events that they won were the one of the very few most important experiences in their lives and are the reference points in their lives. So in understanding why this is important, it is just the power that he was able to um, provide to enable so many people to realize their dreams is, is for me, is like, the essence of what this project um, is and should be about.